Good morning, everyone. Um, I am making banana bread today with the bananas that I got out of the dumpster. I wanted to show you how easy this recipe is. Um, my ingredients. Oh, I'm making lemongrass tea also. So let me turn that down. Put a spoon on it so it doesn't boil over. And back to the bread. Okay. <laughs> Um, I use this because I got this from one of the uh, food banks. Plenty. I've got this and I have this that I've had for a while. So um, what you need is two cups of oats. This is nice because this is already has sugar in it and it's flavored. So it makes really good. So I two cups. That's about six packages of those. Or you can use regular oatmeal. Any kind of oatmeal you want. Um is good and if you're using the non-instant oatmeal you want to soak it first um, or not it doesn't really matter I've done it both ways it does turn out better if you soak it if, if it's not the instant okay and we have we need two eggs three bananas I have two because I'm going to put them on top cut them up you need baking soda and molasses you can use honey you can use whatever. It's a fourth of a cup of natural uh, sweetener like that. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this butter flavoring just because I have it. I made a butter rum cake and I bought that. So I, I made some banana bread the other day and I used the vanilla and the butter in it. The flavorings and it's good. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's no big deal. And I'm also going to put a little cinnamon in it. So all right, let's get started. So what we do is we take two eggs and everything goes in the blender. That's why this makes this so easy. This recipe is just really easy. You always put the liquid in first so it'll make it easier when you blend up the oatmeal. I'm going to use all of this. This is a fourth of a cup of whatever flavoring. Um, if you have honey, honey's good in it. Even if you have Pancake syrup. It doesn't matter. Okay, and next I'm going to put a little vanilla in the blender. And a little the butter flavoring. It's optional. Just gives it a good flavor. And put a little cinnamon in it. Not too much. Okay teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And we're going to blend that up real quickly first. And now we have three bananas. I'm going to kind of put two broken ones up in there first and blend that and then put another one in. Not powerful blender is not that powerful. All right, then we put the other banana in there. Next, we just put the oatmeal in the blender, and it's ready to go in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. You want to put it in a um, uh, either a bread loaf pan, or I'm using, oops, that's not the pan. <laughs> I use this. So it makes four small little loaves. Um, okay, let's blend this up. Mm -hmm. 
This is gluten-free banana bread. All right, so they're blended. Everything's blended in the blender. I buttered the pan, and all I gotta do is pour them in there evenly. And we got banana bread after we bake it, guys. It is so good. Very good for your recipe because it doesn't have the flour in it, and I mean this probably has more sugar than some people want to use. Um, but that you can put as much sugar in it as you want if you can use regular oatmeal and then not even put sugar in it. I've done that before and just used the honey for the sugar and that works out well. But I had these packages of oatmeal that I had to use and that's why I'm doing it this way. Normally I would make it a little healthier, but this this is very tasty. <laughs> okay, so Next, what I like to do is put a little um, sliced banana on top. Since I have the extra, I just lay them on top. I don't want them too thick, so they get mushy. faster. Okay, so I just bake this at 350. I'm put about 20 minutes. If you put it in a bigger pan, like a, a bread pan, just keep an eye on it. Um, and then you want to, you know, when your fork comes out clean, you're done. So, this takes, uh, it seems like it doesn't take very long to bake, especially when I'm using these smaller pans. I think last night I made a batch and it was about 15 minutes and it was done. So, um, I hope you all are doing good. I hope you try this recipe. It's really good. Alright, so that's ready to go in the oven. There's what we have. Cleanup's really easy. I only dirtied a measuring cup and my blender and a knife. So, very easy recipe to make and easy cleanup. Alright, so check. There's what Max is doing today. What are you doing today, Max? Here's Kelly today. She fits into this little box. Oh boy, she's sleepy. <laughs> hey girl. Starting to put clothes in a bag. Get my stuff ready to pack. As you can see, it's a very sleepy day here in Florida. That's what Lily's doing. And there it is out of the oven very bread's much better for you than the kind with flour in it and here is my um, lemongrass tea I like it cold so I'll be uh, draining this and I'm gonna boil it one more time and that's it for today guys we will see you again next time I uh, hope you enjoy the banana bread say bye Callie say bye <laughs>